Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the variability that you may be seeing in your corn crops this year. In a lot of fields that I've been walking, we have plants that are of all different sizes, shapes, and colors. In this particular field, we have some examples of what I'm describing. We have some plants that are at V3 and honestly just not looking very healthy and are doing well. We also have plants that are a little bit bigger in size and at V5. And then we have others that are even taller yet, healthier looking, uh, broader leaves that are also at V5, going on almost to V6. So why is that? Well, there's a multitude of factors that have contributed to what we're seeing this year. However, one thing that you can look at is your planting depth. Now you may be asking, how do I check my planting depth now that the crop is up and growing, right? Well, it's very simple, and I would encourage you to do this, is it may lead to some possible management practices for the coming year if by chance there's some down pressure settings or some adjustments that may need to be made to your planter this, this uh, fall or, or winter. So what you'll wanna do as you're digging up the plants is be very careful. You'll wanna make sure that you keep the seed attached and the mesocotyl attached to that plant. And when you dig that up and you're very careful, measure the mesocotyl length from the seed from that kernel, which it's surprising how long these kernels will last in the soil. The seed treatments today are just phenomenal. So again, be very careful as you're digging. Measure from the kernel, the whole length of that mesocotyl to where the plant is. Whatever that length is, take that and add three quarters of an inch. The coleoptile, which is basically the spike as that corn plant is emerging out of the ground, is usually about three quarters of an inch. So again, when you're measuring the planting depth, you'll have a pretty good feel in the fact that the mesocotyl length and then add about three quarters of an inch and that will give you pretty good accuracy. In this particular case, you will see that the smaller plant was literally um, had no mesocotyl, which tells me it was planted about three quarters of an inch deep. The second largest plant um, had a mesocotyl that was about a half inch and that tells me that basically it was planted at one and a quarter inches. The third plant that was taller, the healthiest looking, the furthest along, that mesocotyl was an inch in length. So that tells me that that particular kernel was planted about an inch and three quarters. So that can lead to the multitude, or that can lead to one of the factors that you're seeing with the variability in your cornfields this year. I hope this video has been of use and value to you. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call any of us here at Pioneer or your Pioneer Seed Agent and we'll be glad to come out and take a look at your field and help you manage through some of these difficult situations that we're facing this year. Thank you, be safe, and take care. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.